What's going on guys? James Rungan Life here coming back at you with the part three of this video series. Uh, I have so aptly entitled it, I spent $300 on this video series. That's because I did. Uh, $2 a pack. I bought 48, 48, and 47 packs. So we are looking at 127, uh, 135, 143 packs plus tax. So I think it came in at like $310 or something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, if you have not watched one of these videos, you can check those out. I'm gonna I, in those videos I talk a lot more about the packs, why I like them. Uh, gravity feed configuration, by far the best for Don Russ basketball. It's a lower end product, um, but if you're gonna bust it, avoid the blasters, avoid the fat packs, uh, hobby boxes or uh, gravity feed boxes only. Uh, and I'm gonna show you why because we're gonna hit a lot of pinks number to fifty. We're gonna hit a lot of uh, rookies and. Just overall a fun break. Probably one number to ten. Um, that's been about average. Um, let's just go ahead and get into it. Thibel and Garland. I keep forgetting uh, that's not the Zion pack. Thought, thought pack one was going to be the Zion pack. But I'm sure we'll hit a couple of those. We've been trying to beat the odds the last two videos. We've gotten exactly two of every rookie. Um, would be nice. I know we've gotten two, three of some um, just because of how it works out. Um, but it would be nice to three, see three Zions. Kyle Guy, Lucas Manic, Clint Capella in that pack. Smart New Goodalla. So if you watched the last video, uh, we kind of crushed it early on. We hit, we got all the hits out of the box basically in like the first 18 packs or so. If I was a scumbag, I would have sold the rest of the packs, but I'm not. So how about that? We busted that whole thing. Actually, the Carson Edwards number 10 was kind of at the at the end. I was actually going to look up comp, see if there was anything, and I just forgot. Um, I'm just kind of rapid fire. Just going to finish these videos and get them edited and get them up onto YouTube for you guys. And by edited, I mean uh, just do the artwork because I'm lazy. And in my, in my former days as a video editor, I would spend way too much time. Uh, now I'm just all about getting that content online as fast as I can. And that's that's the fun of it for me. That's why I enjoy break. That's why I enjoy doing these videos so much. Um, and busting all my packs on camera. Kevin Porter and Cameron Johnson are going to be the rookies out of that pack. So, uh, if you've seen my past videos for Gravity Feeds, you know we're going to hit six to eight pinks. We're going to hit one uh, number to ten. We hit two number to ten in the last video, though. Going to hit an auto. Going to hit a relic. Hashimura, Great Expectation, Schofield, and Tyler Harrow. Good rookie combo. So in that, so so if you've, you know, this is your first video, and I've repeated this in probably all three videos. If you see Schofield in pack, you're gonna get a Harrow. It's just how it works out. Call it lazy collation if you want. Franchise features at Lillard, Jordan Poole, Jarrett Culver are going to be the rookies there. So through the first eight packs, or six packs, not much there. So leading to a, leading to a strong second half of the break. Or just the worst gravity feed ever. One of the two. That'd be fun. And by fun, I mean expensive. So here we go. So, Daniel Gafford, which means that behind him is Mr. Zion Williamson. First Zion of this gravity feeder. We're expecting to, hopefully we get three. That'd be nice. Is there a little mark on there? Oh, nice. Little, little mark on there. And that does not look like it's going to come off. Uh, so, nothing we can do about that other than... Uh, have a marked, aka slight damage, you know, I don't know, surface wear, maybe on a card like that, call that surface wear. One thing I know is you don't go to Panini for those, because I sent in that damaged John Morant that I opened on my channel a few weeks back from Prism, and have not gotten even an update on my ticket yet, it's still just sitting there, uh, so not a fun experience, uh, trying to get replacement cards from Panini, so. Panini does... Some a lot of stuff right, some stuff wrong. Oh, let's split these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They do a lot of stuff right. They do some stuff wrong. Um, 
one of them. Definitely not good at replacements in any sort of a quick manner because I've been waiting. Haven't even gotten a, a response from them. It's it's frustrating because we spend all this money on cards, right? And one of my big hits was, um, you know, a Jaw Silver. Right now it's about a $300 card. I can't get a response back from them as to what it is if I'm going to get a replacement uh, or when I might. And you would think, you know what, if it was a numbered card, maybe it'd be a little more difficult to secure a refund. But for a Silver, you would think that they'd have uh, a backstop, right? They'd have some on hand. And I'm not even asking for any... I, I literally want an exact replacement because mine had a huge corner ding in there. Uh, so I'm getting a little... We're, we're more than 10 packs in now. Expectations, Smolidic, and Brandon Clark. No lasers. No, no anything other than base cards. So that's interesting for sure. Okay, here we go. I think this is our number to 10, actually. Yep. This is our number 10 right here. We got Rookie. No. No, we have a King. Dwayne Deadmond. Oh, man. Not not a hot number 10. Number 1 of 10. In our last box, we did hit 2. So I'm hope, hoping may, maybe we'll get a second one. Because Deadmond is like... Ugh. Not, not an attractive veteran to hit. Langford and Noel take the wind out of the sails. You're waiting for your first hit, and it's just like the better hit in the gravity, and it's like bottom tier veteran. So to make up, we're going to have to hit a top tier pink, right? That's how that works. Goga, Hashimura, and Isaiah Roby, rookies. I was talking to a buddy, I told him, I, I sent him a picture of all three gravities, and he said, you're going to hit a Kobe auto, so, because he knew that, he knew the checklist as well, he knew that you can't hit the Zion autos, uh, that you can in hobby, um, but he said Zion auto, so we shall see, or he said Kobe auto, so, we shall see, if I had to guess, uh, I think, you know, I, I've hit a lot of bad autos, I think I'm going to hit a, a halfway decent auto, I don't really remember who a halfway decent auto would be, though. That's I'm going to say it's going to be middle tier. Tyler Harrow, Great Expectations, Jalen McDaniel, and Ty Jerome, rookies. No pink shit. That's interesting. Oh, speak of... Here we go. Not a rookie. Laker? Quinn Cook, number 50. Can we hit a LeBron? That would be f number one of 50, though. I feel like that's like the third or fourth of one of 50 that I've hit. Or one of X. So a lot of one ofs. Quinn Cook. Jordan Poole and Cam Reddish. Reddish is so undervalued right now in the hobby. It's insane. I know he hasn't quite found his placing yet on that team, but kid's good. Kid can ball. It wasn't just it wasn't just the the Zion factor in college. I, I believe in him, so his stuff's super low. I'm actually kind of holding some of his stuff. Nikhil Alexander Walker, great expectations. Ingus Brzezikis and DeAndre Hunter. Another pink. Here, here start to come our hits. Enos Cantor is going to be our pink. Number 50 of 50 on this one. So one end of the serial run to the other. Kind of all over the place. Terrence Mann and Dylan Windler. Hart Green Robertson. I'm gonna set this probably. Set this over there with the hits. Cause I'm running out of space on my desk. Turner, Little, Basley, Conley, and Jokic. All right, ten more. 
So 18 down, 30 to go. With that, that would be 143 packs total or 100. I can't remember. I've opened a lot of these packs. It's fun. I enjoy this break. Uh, I enjoy this break more than the Houston Astros are enjoying their offseason right now, for sure. Miles Bridges, Fernando, and Okiki. That story is crazy. By the time you guys watch this video, I don't even know if I want to talk about it. Because by the time you guys watch this video, probably about six days or so from now. It's currently Thursday night. Probably have this up by like next Wednesday or so. Um, everything could be different. It's crazy how, how big this scandal is, right? Clippers, Paul George, complete players. Kobe White and Kilden Johnson. Uh, so, I mean, all we know right now is that the, the rumor as of now is that Altuve and Bregman were wearing wires at the plate. And there's now video of them not wanting to take off their uh, pink in here. Not wanting to take off their jerseys um, during one of the games or something like that. I saw some of that footage. Spurs. Derek White, 31 of 50. So people are saying that's pretty dang suspicious. I would have to agree. I watched some of the video and was like, eh, yeah, that's, that's definitely weird. Carson Edwards, RJ Barrett, the rookies there. Oh, decoy. Um... I mean, you have, you have Carlos Beltran um, stepping down from his role with the Mets, I believe. You have Alex Cora resigning as the manager of the Red Sox. This is going to be a Lucas Menick. This is going to be a Nerlens Noel jersey. Jersey Noel. Go ahead and set that over there with our hits. Kyrie Irving, changing roles, or changing stripes. Bull Bull, Jackson Hayes are the rookies. So this thing is running deep, and it's going to only get, probably get deeper. Um, just nutty. Uh, the integrity of the game right now definitely suffering a hit. Luka, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Cody Martin, Decoy. So no jaw yet, no Diom Diombaya, saying that wrong. What is it? Uh, so this is, we have another one, number 10. This is going to be an insert. Steven Adams again. I think we hit a Steven Adams to 10 or to 50. Uh, so number 6 of 10, Steven Adams. You know, Steven Adams does have a pretty big following. Um, so I would consider him to be like a middle-tier veteran, for sure. Tremont Waters and Goga. I would consider him to be a middle-tier veteran myself because he does have a following. Um, does have definitely people buying his stuff. Uh, and not just rookie stuff, so. If you don't know, if you got some Steven Adams you're sitting on, I would definitely look him up and look up completed values. Nazir Little, Darius Basley, going to be the rookies in this pack. Great Expectations, Kobe White, Smolegic, and Brandon Clark are going to be the rookies in this pack. Clarkson and LeBron. Why can I not hit a nice LeBron? Just a pink laser, you know? That'd be, that'd be perfect. Ja Morant, Great Expectations. Set that aside. Grant Williams, Eric Paschal. Interesting, this pack does not want to open. Complete players, Rudy Gobert, Kabangle, and Quandre Witherspoon. Quindari Witherspoon, my apologies. I've been saying that wrong for a long time. I should probably just read these names in full, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and numero 10. So we've already hit two cards numbered to 10 out of here. I already hit a relic. So we, at this point, should probably be expecting an auto still. Uh, Culver Pool, Kevin Knox. It should probably be 
probably be expecting a few more pinks. I would I would think at least two. Um, one of them being a rookie. Pink in here. Rookie, 10 of 50. Spurs. Ah, uh, Quindari Witherspoon. I hate that I said it and, like, made a point to pronounce the name and then I hit it. Like, that seems to always happen. Like, I... I enunciate or I point out something about a player and then like a big hit is that player. Like it, it seems so ironic that that always happens on my videos if you watch them. Except that over there because it is a rookie. Um, you know, just about any rookie is better than you know, Garland Thibel. Uh Just about any rookie is going to be better than a uh, veteran. So. Unless, of course, that veteran's name is LeBron or Luca. Or Giannis, Durant, Talon Horton Tucker, Diamba, Diambio. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch a highlight video after this on YouTube, uh, and I'm gonna get that name just pounded into my head. Booker. Nikhil Alexander Walker and Cody Martin. I see this pack way too much. Harden again. PJ Washington, Nicholas Claxton. So yeah, this this serious thing with baseball, it's just nutty right now. Got another pink in here. Be interesting to see what happens with it. The Kings? You know, you like a Bagley, maybe? Harrison Barnes. Couldn't get a Bagley. 50 of 50, so end of the print run again. And another, oh my gosh, back to back PJ Washington packs. Are you kidding me? So Harrison Barnes, 50 of 50. It's so weird. We keep hitting like the end. Or the start of a print run. PJ and Nick Claxton. Why can I not hit back-to-back -back Zion packs? Like, that would be great. That would be fantastic. Joe Harris. Kobe White and Keldon Johnson. Looney and Robert Williams. This feels like it could be a relic pack. I might be wrong, but... Soul, George, I was wrong. Nazir Little, Ingus Persikis, and DeAndre Hunter. Cook and Kemba Walker. Starting to smell that smell of like packs, like just opening. With Panini packs, it's not that pleasant. <laughs> Tragic Gafford. We know who's behind Gafford. There's Zion. That's our second Zion of the break. We'll, uh, 11 packs left, so we have bonus time to try and hit our third. I think we also have to hit a second jaw. Fantasy stars LeBron. Kevin Porter and Cameron Johnson did see Cameron Johnson stuff is kind of, you know, he hasn't had a great season, which is funny because he's actually getting minutes. I saw his stuff. His silvers were creeping up just a little bit. I saw him at eight last week. They're up to 12 now on Calm C. Um, so yeah, he, he definitely has some potential there. Um, that, that Suns team is just a bunch of good young players, you know, anybody has a, you know, outside of Booker, I think anybody in, Opala and there's her Morant. Uh, anybody has a chance just to contribute to that team for sure. He could be one of them. I think a sleeper card, a card that's way too cheap right now, is his variation uh, prism. Just way too cheap in my opinion. I definitely, I think I'm going to stack about four or five of those and just hold them. Long term, see if anything happens with them. They're such a cheap pickup right now. 
Bull Bull and Jackson Hayes. Uh, another, if you're watching this video still, uh, low battery, I know. Another card I think is probably a too cheap of a pickup right now are some of the silver Zions from Draft. I know that people are, you know, college uniform, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not a good card. Those cards are so cheap. The, the like, All-American card is, like, a $5 card right now. Like, you, the Silver Prism is, like, a $5 card. And the, the numbered ones are even cheaper. So, I mean, compared to what the Silvers from NBA Prism are going for. Clippers, Lou Williams. Oh, my gosh. These pinks have not been good. I think that those are strong buys. You know, there's a lot of potential for ROI there. Lou Williams. Opala. And there's a third Morant. All right. I forgot he was behind Morant. I think that's a third Morant. So I think those cards have a lot of room to grow. Um, I also think that the arriving now hollows from hoops as well as uh, anything numbered from hoops, I feel like it's a little bit low. Like the teal 49s, um, people just don't uh uh they the the values of those are all over the place in terms of comps i picked up a jaw morant for 30 dollars uh, and then like the next week there were comps at like 80 so those are those are definitely sleepers in my opinion if you're if you're wanting to stack you know a rookie that might be under the under the radar right now like a nazir little or bruno fernando numbered hoops is definitely a viable alternative to prism Expectation, Semenic, Grant Williams, Eric Paschal. A few packs left. I think we're at five packs left. This has been a long, long rip for me, all three of these videos. And then I got one more video coming up. I'll do a recap of the hits from this uh, video and then a recap of everything from all of them. Uh, TBL. Uh, I can't think of a TBL. Pelicans. How sad... Trevon Blute, I am not even aware of this player. I will have to look him up. I, I don't know who this is. How sad would you be if you didn't know that Zion was in the checklist and you see, like, that in the G League, thriving in the G League in 2018-19? Sure. So that's going to be our auto. I don't know if this player is good. I don't even know if he's in the association or still in the G League, and I'm dropping it. But that's going to be our auto. I almost forgot that we hadn't hit an auto yet. Uh, Showfield and Hero, I think third time around for them. I'm a little sad that I didn't get, you know, I think our best la pink laser was a Giannis. Uh, the Carson Edwards in, in the second video of this was cool for um, uh, number 10. I was really hoping to hit a LeBron laser. I thought that would be cool. Um, but did not happen. Okiki, Langford, Noel. So maybe I'll have to keep being on the hunt for uh, gravity feeds. Um, you never know. They might pop up. I was shocked when I saw the three there at my Fred Meyer today. So Final three packs. Paul George, Talon Horton Tucker, Diamba. I think that's number three. That might be number two. I can't remember. All right, two packs to go. Uh, that's right there. Jordan Bone, Cam Reddish. All right, and our final pack. How many is this? So 48, 48, 88, eight, and 3, whatever. I don't want to do math. 149 packs, something like that. That was definitely wrong. Um, Hashimura and Isaiah Roby, you're going to finish it out. Let's hit a quick recap. This video went kind of long, uh, and I'm kind of tired, actually. <laughs> um, but I'm going to sort through all this before I go to bed. Um, so let's get the rookies. I was a little, I'm going to be honest, I was a little underwhelmed um, just because the the number 10s weren't that great, um, but it's all right. Okay, so 
Great expectations. Jaw. We got one, two. You know, these have been par for the course. Two of uh, the big rookies. Two, two Zion. Two Jaw. I thought we hit three. And two Dumbayas. And then hit our Nerlens Noel jersey series. Two cards number 10. We hit the Dwayne Dedmond. Steven Adams. Number uh, 6 of 10, Kondari Witherspoon, a pink laser rookie, and Trevon Balut Signature Series. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. I got one more coming up. We're going to do a recap of everything. And, um, yeah, we got Optic coming up at the end of the month, so definitely going to bust some of that. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's where we're at with this channel. So stay tuned. Recap coming up of everything. I'm going to talk a little bit about the financials, too, and kind of figure out how I did overall. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around for all three of the Gravity Food videos. Much appreciated for all the follows, all the likes, and all of the comments. You guys have been killing it on my channel, showing me a lot of love, and I am extremely grateful. So thank you again so much, and we'll catch you next time.